We are continuing to work to learn more about that suspected Chinese surveillance balloon, that breaking news we learned just this hour. We're going to continue to follow that. But in the meantime, we are also following other news and the Republican presidential primary. That's starting to take shape as potential rivals of President Trump are making moves. Today, former Governor Larry Hogan, a longtime Trump opponent, taking to Twitter, saying that he would not commit to supporting Trump if he were the presidential nominee, saying he'll support whomever the Republican nominee is, but he does not believe it will be Trump. And it comes as Hogan is considering his own run for the White House as the list of potential names to run against the former president continues growing. Joining us now is Bob Cusack, editor-in-chief with our partners at The Hill. Bob, very busy day today, so thank you for giving us some time. Um, let's start with the news made by outgoing White House Chief of Staff Ron Klain. Seeming to confirm President Biden will run in 2024, is that definitive or is it more of just a hint? Uh, I think it's pretty definitive uh, unless there's some uh, health issue. We've been hearing that Biden uh, is going to announce uh, within the next month or two. Uh, and we've also been told that the classified document controversy is not going to affect his timeline. So it'll be after the State of the Union next week. Um, but he's going to He's moving forward, Nicole. He's running. All right. All right. Well, let's go to the other side of the ticket. Some of the potential GOP candidates, uh, Nikki Haley expected to announce in just a few weeks, possibly former Governor Larry Hogan. Um, they, they both have long resumes. But how do they stand out in this field that, that right now seems to be dominated by someone who's announced, uh, the former president, Trump, and then someone who has not announced, but his name is constantly brought up, Florida Governor Ron DeSantis? Uh, that's a great question. I mean, they're going to have to find a lane where they're going to get support. I think it's going to be difficult uh, for people like Hogan, who's been very popular in Maryland. As he said, he worked with the Democratic legislature and, and got a fair amount done. Very popular. Nikki Haley as well. Um, but they have had a mixed history uh, at best uh, with with Trump. And and I think, though, that uh, some of these Republican candidates Remember, this, the front runners in these races, they usually falter. And, and I don't think people are, are scared of Trump anymore. So I think it's going to be a crowded field. So, Bob, you know, Hogan has no problem distancing himself from Trump at this yeah. point. But do the other GOP hopefuls maybe have to distance themselves from the former president in, in order to find some success? I think in some ways they do. But the nominee, if it's not Trump, uh, is going to have to be someone who... Uh, is respected and liked uh, by people who like Trump. And, and there are a lot of conservatives I talk to that they're looking at DeSantis. Uh, and, and DeSantis, is certainly there's going to be friction. There's already friction between the two men. Uh, but overall, I think it's going to be very difficult to be anti-Trump and win the nomination. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.